Hi Doc, can you tell us about three healthy food habits for people with diabetes? Of course, I'd like to change it a bit and say principles, three principles. The first principle I would say is look at the macro and the microwave heats. When it comes to the macronutrients, it's mainly carbohydrates, proteins and fat. The carbohydrates that we have to take if we are diabetic should be complex carbohydrates. It should not go in and spike the sugar very quickly. So lentils, they're very good. Whole grains will be good. Millets will be very good. In millets, you know, in our part of the country, we consume a lot of rati. So that is the way to consume carbohydrates. So that comes a protein. For vegetarians, beets, lettuce, lean protein. For non-vegetarians, fish. And in poultry, maybe the breast part uh, of the chicken rather the leg part, which is lean protein. Avoid the red meat. So that will be good for protein intake. Then fat. It has to be good fat. That is nuts for vegetarians. For non-vegetarians, fish is a very good way for consuming fat. The oil that you use for cooking, use the oil that your parents, your ancestors have been using, whichever part of the country you belong to. I belong to the Koshi part of Karnataka, so coconut oil is very good for me. Our body historically has been used to digesting and uh, assimilating coconut oil. Use less of it because we are not very physically active nowadays, very sedentary, so use less. And when it comes to micronutrients, I will club it with the fiber. When you start using a lot of vegetables, you start getting a lot of micronutrients as well. The vitamins, minerals. They are very important, very small quantities, but very important. Zinc, chromium, cadmium, selenium, etc. 